My next guest is one of the most popular members of the United States Senate. Please welcome Senator Elizabeth Warren. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back. Always good to talk with you. You are so passionate about the things you believe in. Yeah. The last time we were together was in September. Right. Uh, there was a lot of speculation at the time that uh, Vice President Biden might be running for uh, the presidency. You might be running for the presidency. Uh, but you did not jump in. Are you surprised how well Bernie Sanders has done in his head to head against Secretary Clinton? Look, what's going on right now is that. There's a lot of hurt out there mm -hmm. among the American people. People who work hard, uh, who play by the rules, are having a really hard time getting ahead. Washington is not working for them. And I think Bernie Sanders gets out there and makes that case. I think Hillary Clinton gets out there and makes that case. And I'm glad to see it. Okay. Now, Bernie Sanders is calling, Bernie Sanders is calling for a revolution. Hillary Clinton is not calling for a revolution. She believes that slow and steady kind of changes the DCs. That, that's the impression I get from her. Which one appeals to you more, Elizabeth look, Warren? Look, let's, let's be clear about where the differences are, because this is what I really love seeing. Democrats are out there fighting over the things that affect America's families. So, for example, 70% of young people today have got to borrow money in order to go to college. So between Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders, they're talking about should it be free college or should it be debt-free college. God bless. That is the right place to have the discussion. Right. Well, my question for you is, so many people, so many people wanted you to run for president, and you're kind of like a combo platter. Even the things you're saying, like you're kind of a combo platter of like the the uh, of, of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. You're like Voltron candidate. You're a combination. <laughs> Don't you wish you had jumped in and, and been part of the mix right so here? So look, every single day I get out there and do what the people of Massachusetts sent me to do. I'm fighting for working families. I'm fighting to hold people's feet to the fire. I'm fighting for more cops on Wall Street. I'm fighting for our students. I'm fighting for our seniors. God, this is a fabulous job. Who could ask for this? Now, you, you say you want more cops on Wall Street. Yeah. Do you, well, you've got some things in common with the leading Republican candidate, Donald Trump. Uh, and I'll move my pen away from you so it doesn't scare you. Oh, no. Because both of you feel the guys on Wall Street are getting away with stuff that they shouldn't. He wants to tax the hedge fund guys. He thinks they're getting away with murder. Don't, isn't there some unity there between well, you and Donald Trump? Let's, let's be real clear. <laughs> Donald Trump is looking out for exactly one guy, and that guy's name is Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. That's, that's mm -hmm. So look, he smells that there's change in the air. And what he wants to do is make sure that that change works really, really well for Donald Trump. Now, he says he's won his whole life. He wins, wins, wins. But now he wants to win for America. We're going to win so much, we're going to get tired of winning. Why don't you want, <laughs> why don't you want us to win? So, you know, <laughs> this is the deal. You've got to kind of look a little closer at, at Donald Trump, because this is his main claim to how it is that he says he's qualified to be president of the United he's a, States. He's a winner. He says in business, he wins, wins, wins. Well, the truth is, he inherited a fortune from his father. A small million dollar loan. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> A he small had, million dollar He loan. inherited a fortune from his father. He kept it going by cheating and defrauding people. And then he tricks his creditors through chapter 11. He never broke That's the law. He's never broken the law. He's merely taken advantages. He yeah. never, we don't know. Listen, we don't yeah, know. Yeah. We don't know. Uh, that's Be his, careful. His. Remember, rubber glue, he's got a lawyer and he'll sue. Right. Okay, <laughs> he'll come after you. Right. But look, that really is the heart of it. That Donald Trump knows that there's change, and the question is so what's going to happen from that? We have an economy that's in real trouble. But when the economy is in this kind of trouble, calling on Donald Trump for help is like. If your house is on fire, calling an arsonist to come help out. Now you have you have been uh, you have uh, had a flame war. Speaking of arson, with Donald Trump, you have tweeted a few things. You've gone on the warpath here. You tweeted, "Let's be honest. 
at real Donald Trump is a loser. Count all of his failed businesses. See how he cheated people with scams like Trump University. Yeah. Many of history's worst, worst authoritarians started out as losers, and at real Donald Trump is a serious threat. And the way I see it, it's our job to make sure at real Donald Trump ends his campaign every bit the loser he started it. Aren't you? But some would say. Why get down? Why are you getting down in the schoolyard with Donald Trump? Does, isn't this just name calling? Oh, look, come on. This isn't name calling. This is taking the credential that he claims he's running on, and that is his business success, mm -hmm. and saying, no, Buster, we're not buying that. He is not a business success, he is a business loser. He's a rich guy. He's still a rich guy. You know, you inherit, He's still a rich guy. You inherit that kind of fortune from your father. He didn't get $10 billion you, from his dad. You know I got to defend my friend Donald here. Do you for know a what second. some of the analysts say? What do they say? If all the money he'd inherited from his dad he just put into index funds, he'd be just about as rich as he is today. In other words, he wasn't out there doing these fabulous deals. He started out rich. He cheated his way to getting richer. That is not going to build an America. For hardworking people, he's going to leave them in the dirt like he's left everybody else in the dirt. Not well, uh, You've got a uh, you've got a new edition of your biography, A Fighting Chance, with a new afterword yeah. here. Uh, it's a great book. Uh, before we let you go, who are you going to endorse, Hillary or Bernie? And feel free to give me a variety of non-answers. Who are you going for, Hillary or Bernie? Look, right now. The, right now, oh boy. the Democrats are doing exactly what we should be doing. We're out talking about the issues that affect hardworking families. Student loans, Social Security, more cops on Wall Street, trade. If Hillary wait. doesn't get it, should uh, Hillary people vote for Bernie? And if Bernie doesn't get it, should Bernie people vote for Hillary? Totally yes, both ways. Both ways? Both ways. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for both being ways. here. A fighting chance. Senator Elizabeth Warren, everybody. We'll be right back.